What up? What up, bro? What's up, everybody? John, Dottie, hello, what's up? Indigenous Day, Chris, what's up? Hey, guys. Um, we're getting ready to leave my apartment. Hey, Sophia. I gotta brush my teeth. And then we're gonna go out and go for a walk in Brooklyn. Lauren! Hold on, I'll be right back. John, John, Daddy, Harry, why? <laughs> What's up? No, it's just, <clears throat> it's actually an apartment. It's a whole apartment. And it's a nice apartment. Hold on a second. It's a nice, but a small apartment. It's like 350 square feet. Right. You can see the entire... Carla, what's up, Dottie? What's up? Good morning. So you guys can see, this is not a big apartment. Charlena, what's up? 2000 a month. Yes, very expensive. Betty Penny, Johannes, Mitz, anyone older than me to talk to? <laughs> hey, Lolita, what's up, Pocket Mage? Miss Koji, yeah. Yo, what's up? Alchemist, we did a battle with Alchemist the other night. Good to see you, the Alchemist. We battled the other night, and Alchemist won. But we'll battle again in the future, right? Oh man, my hair is bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really good. So this is my apartment. I gotta finish brushing my teeth, you guys. The whole still. Somebody's got to, I got to press these buttons here. I got to press some buttons. Stop that. Hey, what's up, guys? All right. Okay. Hey, Cleopatra and Lex and Johannes. Uh, yeah, second floor of a five-story walk-up building. Walk-up meaning it's stairs. There's no elevator, right? And... Uh, it's got a couple floors in the basement too. It's old, it's a good building. You can see across the street. Um, this is what the houses in the neighborhood look like, right? Kinda, kinda fancy. Gotta get my hair did, I did. Hey, what's up Lisa, what's up Willie? I did, I got my hair did. <laughs> I did not get married. Uh, I mean, I did once, but it's been a while. Yo, Betty Penny. Dang, thank you so much for manifesting that, that manifesting hands. Steve. All right, yeah, so I had to brush my teeth. We're gonna go down the street. There's a, 
uh, sandwich place I heard about. I want to go get a sandwich. I am so freaking out of it today. Christy, Tina Marie, good morning. And people were saying, what's, uh, what's up with this room? Layla Ziggy. Um, good morning. Morning, Layla. Morning, Ziggy. Morning, Ziggy. Oh, actually, it's like 2.15 in the afternoon, huh? So this is my apartment right now. Not big. Look at the kitchen. It's probably like, how wide is that? Five feet? So it's about 300. And uh, find my glasses. Yeah, right there. Glasses. Good. Keys. Oh, I might want to take a little... Paula, Bryce, thank you so much. I'm going to take this little hoodie with me. Caroline, what's up? It's kind of windy out there. Maybe I'll take this hoodie with me. Um, it's a lot. I don't want to have to, the hassle of carrying something, but I, I'm going to need it. Lolita and Caroline, what's up? Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for the team bracelet, Caroline. Let me get my shoes on. And we're going to head over to the sandwich. I, this, I saw a video about the sandwich place over here. And that I want to go to in Brooklyn. Let me get my shoes off. It's windy, right? Nancy, good afternoon, Daz. Auntie Chrissy water bottle. That's a good idea, too. This plant is dope, huh? Yeah, it's a pretty cool interior. It's expensive. No, there's actually a bedroom. Um, but it's still, you know what I mean? It's it's expensive. But it's nice to have your own place. You know, New York City, you, you can get roommates and then you get into that situation i don't really dig that you know yeah i gotta pick up a sandwich my meds my meds yeah thank you that's that's correct all right hold on a second in case you guys are wondering in case you're not in the channel all the time sometimes people remind me to pick up my meds no take my pills hold on a second where's my pills my pills are because i have epilepsy and then the side effect of that is that I have a terrible memory because I've had these seizures and it's shaking my brain out, right? Hey, good morning, Linda. Good morning, Jackie. Johannes. Yeah, it's a cool apartment, huh? Um, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's a rough combination. You got to take pills to make you remember <laughs> memory pills, but you can't remember to take them, you know? Yes, D's. You're not. Yeah, I usually don't do indoor apartment uh, vids. We used to though. If you guys remember that, like back in uh, December and January, we used to get in the kitchen and cook all the time. That's where we first started. Uh, D's, Lolita. Ah, it's okay. I'm used to it now. You know. But um, yeah, we started the channel originally in my old apartment that I used to have um, on the Upper East. I know, Sierra. What's up, Sierra? What's up? I miss the cooking too. Good to see you. Cleopatra, what's up? Bob, Ute Holzer, thank you for joining my team uh, with the uh, the hearts, the heart me. Are oh, that vinyl? Yeah, this is a sublet. It's, it's a furnished sublet from a friend of a friend. And uh, they said I could listen to all their albums if I wanted to, and there's a turntable and stuff. But and the albums actually look great, but uh, I haven't. I haven't listened to them. I don't have time to listen to albums. We're, the Grateful Dead, another Grateful Dead. I mean, I got these albums memorized anyway. No point in listening to them because I know I know what they sound like. Uh, yeah, they got. It's funny, Jaco Pastorius, bass player. Yo, thank you for subscribing, Turner. Thank you for the subscription. That's awesome. I haven't even stopped to look at these albums. I don't want to mess with their stuff too much even though they said i could oh jimmy smith yo i saw this guy play live one time jimmy smith is a guy that did that song um green onion green onions you know uh oh, i can't i can't do it with my mouth it's uh it's like a keyboard song Beep, 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 doo, doo, doo. You know that one? So it's been redone by, and they call it uh, Green Onions or Hip Hugger, whatever. Anyway, sorry, I'm, try I'm trying to sing the keyboard part with my mouth. Anyway, I saw that dude live, man, years ago, years ago, Jimmy Smith at this jazz club. 
Layla Ziggy, uh, going to Columbus Day. No, I, you know, I just got online. And I was looking to see who's, uh, who, which local New York narrators are out there. And uh, Stanley is down at the parade on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. Uh, and he's doing his live. And he's doing it all in Spanish. And it's like Native uh, American Day and Indigenous Day. Oh, it's also like, uh, yeah, Columbus Day, right? So you'll have the whole Italian uh, thing too. Oh, that's true, that's true. Last year, I, I was over there. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. Um, user, what's up? Stevie Stir Fry, what's up? How you doing? Ute Holzer, Layla Ziggy. Uh, I'm trying to, oh, I gotta get my pills out of the bottles. Put them in my pocket so I can take them later. Yes, and in case you're wondering, my brain is fried, so I cannot. Uh, it's cold in Germany tonight. Has the weather cleared in this big apple? It's gray and Cape Cod. I got my pills in my pocket. No, the sky is really cloudy, so in, happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you, Aunt Chris. On to Yo, Harlem Bay, what's up? Let me get some shoes on. We're still in uh, Bed-Stuy today. Let me get my shoes on. But uh, we're going to go pick up a sandwich. I don't think it'll be closed. I heard about this place over on Myrtle on Myrtle Street. I want to go get it. Jerry, what's up? Thank you so much. It's too cold for shorts. Mm, I'm going to pretend that it's not too cold for shorts. And maybe it'll be the last time. But I am going to bring a hoodie, so I'll put that on if it gets crazy. Jerry, what's up? Boo doo doo doo. Andrea, you guys were there for the meetup a couple nights ago. That was dope. That was really good. And then yesterday, we tried to do the top of the rock in the morning. Kelly and uh, uh, Tiva. And we went up to the top of the rock in Rockefeller Center. You said, and yeah, Diamond Mike Diamond. And when you go inside the building, uh, what's up, Ute? We went inside the Rockefeller Center building. There's no, you can't do a live stream from in there. The reception is too bad. So I thought, okay, we'll get to the top. We'll have great reception. No, not the case. We had terrible reception on top. We couldn't do a live stream from up there either. So anyway, hours later, yeah, we're walking over the Brooklyn Bridge and Kenny Rat Talk came the other direction bumped into me when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, anyway, so, yeah, so you, maybe people were watching Kenny at that time in the afternoon, so I was on his show briefly. Uh, but today, Indigenous People Parade is on Park Avenue or Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, and Stanley, if you guys have ever watched Stanley NYC, his, uh, he's there doing his show, and he's doing it in all Spanish. Uh, it's wild. Anyway, I'm not going to block him right now. We're going to stay in Brooklyn anyway. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get my own place too. John, what's up? Mike D, Columbus Day Parade um, is on. Yeah, it's is it over already? I don't know. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon and I, I'm just sort of like getting out of bed, not, you know, going kind of slow today. But we're going to, I'm going to walk over. We're going to all walk over to get a sandwich. The Columbus Day Parade is on. Why is it over? Arias and Christy. Hey, hey, what's up? Everybody loves the sunshine. Good morning. John, thank you. Yes, it's a good, it's a pretty decent haircut. It uncovered all my bald spots, but I don't care. So I'm losing my hair. I'm used to it. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm going to accept it and lose my hair. And, uh, shit, I'm 56. I, I could have done worse. I could be totally bald by now. Angelina, what's up? All right, give, guys, give me two more seconds. Uh, I'm going to go... Uh, and I'll be right back two seconds and then uh, and we'll get out of here. We'll walk down the street to Kim Mama. What's up? We don't want too many parades. It's so loud. Yo, we had that thing yesterday. It was crazy, too. They had uh, uh, like an Indigenous Day parade or a Latino parade or something. It was crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, 430 in the morning in Australia. Yo, that's crazy. Kim Mama. Yeah, this is what I look like indoors, right? And people are try are asking to see the, yo, Kim Mama, thank you so much. Uh, people are asking to see the apartment. 
And so this is the interior. This is a place in Brooklyn. Floors are beautiful, right? Ceilings aren't bad, but you can see it's a it's a renovated, like the house didn't was not made with these kind of can lights and a nice uh, smoke detector, beautiful cabinet. So they really renovated it. And the, the, the light is really nice. The windows are really nice. 350 square foot apartment and uh, 2,000 bucks a month. <laughs> they work on that for a while. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's a great place. But if, do the math on the on the price of it, and uh, this is it's pretty. Brooklyn's expensive, man. Brooklyn's super expensive. Yeah, it's three hundred fifty. How big is your house? A good, I mean, an average maybe or oversized uh, suburban house in the states, thirty five hundred square feet would be ten times the size of this. Yeah, so imagine your thirty five hundred square foot three or four bedroom house in Iowa would be 10 times the size and this is 2000 a month so i don't think anybody pays most people don't pay 20000 a month for their for their house 4000 square feet right yeah this is about 350 it's that's a lot right it's too much give me 10 seconds or 60 seconds i'll be right back and then we'll get out of here Got my water, right? What's up? All right, Raylene, Layla. Good morning, Willie Nilly. All right. All right, Raylene, Layla. Good morning, Willie Nilly. All right. All right, Raylene, Layla. Good morning, Willie Nilly. All right. Do 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 do. Shoot. Muhammad, some guy named Muhammad is trying to talk to me. Yo, you can hear me. <laughs> uh, Merlin, what's up? I am actually great. Happy Maria. Uh, no, 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 no. I was brushing my teeth. I was using my mouthwash. All right, I've got eye hair. Glasses, got my glasses. Yeah, in case you guys don't know. Welcome, hi, if you haven't hit the follow button, hit the follow button, we do seven days a week, sometimes only six, but um, we always do at least a little bit, sometimes a lot. Yesterday we were only on for an hour. Um, let me spin this around, let's get out of here. Let's walk down the street. Let's go for a walk down the street. Uh, huh, 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 huh. People get here. That's funny. I thought that I closed the door. All right. Beautiful interior, right? Classic uh, old Brooklyn. Here, I'll look at this. There's, there's a light on the ceiling. Oh, that's a speedy, kind of going a little bit fast. So this is one of those Brooklyn... Uh, uh, brownstone row houses, just like the ones in Manhattan too, you know? They all have this skylight like that, and you could climb up there and go on the roof if you want, but I, I haven't done that. And I'm pretty sure I will not be doing that. Okay. Uh. Uh -huh. Yo, happy Maria. 
Love kindness. Aw, Kim Mama, Lisa Calf, Graceline. Pretty nice little, pretty nice little lobby down here, huh? Beautiful glass. I'm gonna point. Oh, that's pretty nice little, pretty nice little lobby down here, huh? Beautiful glass. I'm gonna point. Oh, that's Okay, let me see what's up. Where are we going? So right now, we are, oh, it's not bad, but I think it's, I can see that it's going to be cold. Uh, yeah, it's going to start getting cold. Uh, we're going to go get a sandwich. I heard, I read about, or I saw a video about this place on Myrtle Avenue that is going to have, that has this special kind of sandwich. I got my wallet. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, wallet keys. Wallet keys. Phone. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool apartment, huh? All right. Let's. Let me show you what's the neighborhood like. I didn't want. I want to make sure you guys didn't see my exact address and stuff like that. Still triple digits. I got my meds in my pocket. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, let's turn it around. Let's see what's up. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. Thank you for coming and the subscriptions and the follows. We already got a new subscription this morning. Thank you so much. There's a... Uh, uh, all these stickers. What in the world? And there's a really cool mural here. No stocking. Right, exactly, Kim Mama. JC, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. Oh, cool. There's a uh, mural here. We're on Nostrand Avenue in uh, in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Sunny. Oh, it is going to be a little bit windy, dude. Woo! It's not exactly cold wind yet, so we're going to be okay for a minute, but cool scooter. This feels like, like uh, London. London always seems to be this temperature with the little breeze going. Yo, happy Maria, what's up? Yeah, pretty good neighborhood, huh? So I'm super stoked. I'm, we're going to Rome on the 30th. And I went to Philomena's and talked to Dave, the guy who owns Philomena's. October, yeah, this is a great neighborhood, huh? We talked to Dave at Philomena's yesterday. Went and got some pizza last night with uh, Tiva and Kelly. I'm showing them around uh, a lot of a lot of places. So those of you who came to the event or watched the event that night, yo, Ro, what's up? Bring an umbrella in Rome. November is the rainiest month. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming and doing that battle. And those who were here in per in person, it was awesome. Thank you. A lot of good graffiti around here, huh? Um. Anyway, so Dave said he might have a hookup. The guy who owns Philomena Pizza, he's got his own little pizza parlor. It's independent. It's called Philomena's. And uh, Kenny, the rat talk guy, works there. And every time I go, Dave gives me pizza and he will not let me pay for it. You know, you ever get in those situations where you almost don't even want to go there? Because you're like, bro, I know we're buddies, but just let me pay for my slice of pizza, please. Uh, hey, Helen, what's up? Louie. This part of Brooklyn is uh, Bed-Stuy. bed, -Stuy. bed -Stuy, Brooklyn. It's willy-nilly. I guess I'm a celebrity, right? No, I mean, they're TikTokers. Uh, Dave's got his own channel. Um, he live streams from his pizza parlor all the time. He just keeps the camera on himself while he's rolling out the pizzas. I wish I could remember the name of his channel, though. You guys probably know. Yeah, it's a little awkward, you know? I mean, I know some of you probably know his channel, and some of you probably follow him. Cool houses, huh? And, um... Anyway, Kenny works there. Kenny from NYCKB, the guy who does Rat Talk in the middle of the night. He works the register there. The incredible pizza guy, thank you. Ah, oh, it makes me crazy, because I can never remember his name. So these are all the bodegas, by the way, guys. And this is a fancy, fancy.
fancy new place I went in here I thought I got a cold brew in here one day it was hella good but it was so expensive it was just a disaster it was so expensive it was stupid but they had cold uh, iced coffee you know yeah, but it was phew, rip off yeah the incredible pizza guy anyway he was telling me he knows a guy and uh, that has a, pl a famous or a well known pizza place in the city of uh, Napoli no of Naples Naples Italy <clears throat> which is not too far from Rome happy Maria what's up oh it's a little windy sorry So he's gonna try and give me the hookup with that guy. <clears throat> so we go to Rome, maybe for a few days. Happy Maria, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the paper cranes. So we're gonna try and get the hookup with that dude. Maybe take a bullet train down to Naples, Italy. Hang out with that guy and uh, live stream from his pizza restaurant. You guys, Popeyes fried chicken, you know. If you know, you know. Popeyes. That's the one. That's the only 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 junk food I'll eat. We're on Nostrand and what is that street called? Kachusko? Kachusko? Kosciusko? That's a crazy word. Charm win. You have to go to Rome more than one day because it was built. It took longer than a day to build it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm making my plans right now. I was looking at Airbnbs to get to rent for Rome. And uh, see what this guy's doing. What you doing? What you doing, dude? Oh, it's a one-way street too. So two one-way streets. And when you come to New York and you're walking around, Jan Elrod, thank you so much. Notice that they do not have a, a right turn on red. If you're from the United States, you know what right turn on red is. If you're not from the United States, maybe I don't know if your country does that or not. So that's partly why drivers in New York always seem a little bit pushy because they, they can't even take a right turn on a red. So they're like, don't waste time, get out of my way. I'm trying to go, you know, before the light turns red. My favorite car, Kachusko, Jan. Yeah, that was awesome, huh? That meetup was really cool the other night. My favorite car, wow. I, you know what? I used to have a 1964 Plymouth Valiant and that car it had a push button transmission like you know you but like a 1964 buttons you know it was like these great big buttons that stuck out of the dash you'd press the button and it would go into gear or park or reverse or neutral and it was such a crappy car but it was awesome ah uh, wait where am i going am i going toward myrtle street anyone know if i'm going the right way i think i am i'm trying to go to myrtle I think I'm going the right way. So right turn on red is at least the last time I drove a car or a motorcycle. When you stop at the corner, you can stop at a red light, tap, don't really stop, but just like tap, pretend to stop, and then you can take a right. But in New York State, that they don't do that. So you have to wait at the light. You can't. And that saves on uh, that saves on pedestrians getting hit. Like, see, that guy was driving super fast. Yo, what's up? Stop, look, proceed. Yeah, here you just uh, you have to wait at the red. So that's why the, it's hard to walk across a crosswalk because the guy sitting there is tapping his foot like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're waiting for the light. Are there so that's why the, it's hard to walk across a crosswalk because the guy sitting there is tapping his foot like come on come on come on come on come on come on they're waiting for the light are there subways in rome well i don't know you guys is there there's got to be a subway system in rome I, heard, I hope so if not i'm gonna be gonna be sol i'm sure there is right rotaries rotaries what's what do you mean rotary Rotary tattoo machines, rotary phones, rotary motorcycles. Uh, so that my house is like four or five stories. Driving a car in a big city like New York, yo, super, super trafficy generally. Oh, look at these guys carrying the wood. These guys are gonna be working on, they're making a, something in their house. They're coming from 
Home Depot. All right, take a little break at the right here. Let's just stop at the graffiti and for a second. I got to readjust my grip. All right, you ready, dude? Yeah, yeah, let's go. We got to go build that thing. We got to go build that thing. We got to work on the bed or something. I don't know. My wife's going to kill us. It took us so long to get the wood from the Home Depot. It sucks. <laughs> and here's the this is the Home Depot right here you guys they literally are coming from Home Depot <laughs> crazy huh it's always the same they were probably watching football yesterday or basketball or baseball last night didn't get it done where else are you going to see that except to Bed-Stuy Brooklyn Oh man, I should make a video out of that, huh? <laughs> Yo, I know. Around, oh, rotary roundabout. Yeah, yeah. Um, we do have roundabouts, a few, but uh, most people in the States are really not comfortable with driving around those roundabouts. That is a video, right, Helen? <laughs> I'm going to make a video out of that. I'll post that up. I need something new up on my TikTok. <laughs> I got to put up a new TikTok video. Yankees played the Mets, and the Mets lost their butt last night, right? It was our Met, They didn't play against the Mets. Like, who played? Somebody beat the Mets last night like 9-0, to zero, right? I saw it when we were over at uh, Dave's at Philomena's Pizza. Oh, dude, we're going to Myrtle. Um, Aloha, Mama Lou. We're on Hart and Nostrand in... Uh, 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 look at these houses are sick so beautiful look at these houses man we're in this is Bed-Stuy neighborhood used to work on Myrtle cool silent feather right these are sick as hell um, I mean sick as heck excuse me Lisa K hey Bensonhurst what's up help me out here I think I may be lost I'm trying to go to Myrtle Street so let me get back here on Nostrand Avenue. If I'm lost, you got to let me know. But I think, I think I'm going the right way. How old? How old am I? How old is the house? Oh, these houses? Actually, you know what? I would say this neighborhood, these houses would be hmm, 1910, right? Somewhere between 1890 and 1910. I'm thinking, Silent Feather, what's up? Uh, no, Yorkie, we're in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. I'm drinking my water. I'm staying hydrated, right? You imagine trying to drive a school bus here? That would be crazy. Plus, it's all in another language. Can't even read it. That'd be nuts, huh? All right, this is Willoughby Street. How much would I recommend to move here? Uh, Buck 23, I am a cook or a chef, however you want to call it. Um, but I'm not in charge of other people anymore. I got that. I used to be the boss of everybody. Yeah. Yeah, Hebrew. I can't read that language. I don't know. Classic. All these classic New York looks. Dope. Really dope. So I'm trying to find Myrtle Avenue and then we're going to go left. Yeah, I'm a pretty decent cook still. I work for catering right now. I do a lot of catering with catering companies. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And it looks like next to it, there was a building that's not there anymore. You know what I mean? And now there's a newer, there's a few newer buildings. One, two, three. And a big space next to the school. I mean, I wonder, I can imagine this stone building had a continuation that went on for like 40 feet. Right? Wild, man. So cool. It looks like they cut it in half, huh? How much would I recommend to save up and move here, Sniper? Mm, I don't know. I remember there's a lot of ways to, to move here. There's a lot of ways to do it, you know? When I first moved to New York, because I haven't lived here forever, but when I first moved here, I saved up. I had just taken my entire life savings, which wasn't much. And uh, I put it down... I got Airbnbs for the first four or five months 
I was like, okay, at least I'll have a place to sleep for four or five months. And I got, fi I got five months, I got five different apartments and I paid for them in advance. And every month I would move at the end of the month to the next one and the next one and the next one. Andy, do we have tart letter? It's like a mini vacation, yeah. It's everything, it's always like a mini vacation here. All right, so Vernon and Nostrand. This is, looks like a yard where they store the the cranes or the whatever these tools are. Yo, Jojo, what's up? OC guy, private eye, what's up? Is rent, yes, rent is expensive in all of New York. And I think maybe this neighborhood used to be cheaper, but it's not. You guys, we started out the live a while ago over in my neighborhood. Chelsea, yo, thank you for the witchy kitty. Cherry pickers, that's called a cherry picker, huh? That's what these are. This is like the cherry. Chelsea, thank you so much for the witchy kitty. This is a cherry picker storage lot. Chelsea, here in bedside. I guess that's where they rest them at night. Crazy. All right, here it is, Myrtle Street. So I'm trying to go to Myrtle Street. It's always Manhattan. Yeah, Andy, you know, it's like a lot of people, they want to see their neighborhood or their old neighborhood, you know what I mean? And I move around kind of, and it kind of dovetails into that, that last story I was telling. I move, I'm okay with figuring out like five different neighborhoods in five months to, for me to live, because then I decide which one I like the best. And then, and where I want to permanently live, you know? And then that way too, Jojo, thank you so much for the bracelets, those team bracelets, you guys are really helpful pushing us up the live uh, 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 chart, <laughs> up the chart. We're moving up to League B1 right now. We've done really good. Thank you, Raven. Umarami, midnight. Minimum wage, Chelsea. It's time for me, thanks for sharing. Minimum wage here, I think it's 15, probably more. I think it's legally, it's like 15. But uh, Paula Bryce, thank you so much for the team bracelets. What does this guy got on the front of his truck here? Can't tell. I couldn't tell. Uh, like a three bedroom apartment? The, an average three bedroom apartment somewhere in New York would be, I don't know, five or $10,000. A three bedroom apartment is a big apartment. Yeah, I'm going to use that in my video, too. Or maybe not. Poor guy's hat fell off. All right. Hold on to your hat, y'all. All right, so now we're on Myrtle. We're going to this uh, deli. That was way weird, huh? Waited to run on the intersection. You got to hold your hat. It's getting windy now, man. Bernardo. Johannes. Cargo bot. Yeah. Yo, this is dope. Where the heck am I? So I'm really not uh, familiar with this neighborhood very much at all. So this is all new to me. I'd love to be around the other neighborhoods. Last week we walked through, uh, where did we go? Green something, the neighborhood called Green something, Greenbrier, Greenbrook, Greenwood. Greenwood? No, uh, Greenpoint, Greenpoint. And we went to the donut shop up there. That place was so good. Yeah, but this time we're in Bed-Stuy right now. And we're walking from Nostrand Street up to, uh, here's a laundromat. You gotta wash your clothes if you don't got a laundry machine in your building. Um, there's a deli over here I wanna go to. OC guy, private eye, what's up? Johannes Vandermeer. Yeah, Lauren Saros, Peter Pan Donuts. Yo, in Green Point. Green Point, Brooklyn, right? That was crazy. Nadine, what's up? Good afternoon. So we're still walking around. You guys know about the uh, the Tartarian conspiracy? Like this right here. See that? See that doorway? See how it's like a door that's underground? I know this is going to sound totally crazy. Your friend is a three bedroom. She's paying twenty five hundred on rent control. Yeah, normally it'd be ten thousand for Sprite. Yeah, you gotta get rent control or find us. Get somebody with a rent control lease and make them like fall in love with you or something. 
because <laughs> now if you don't have that lease, Oleg, Oleg, now you're going to pay 10000 for that apartment. User in Joe Bueno, thank you guys for following. We're always looking for new subscribers, so if you want to subscribe, it's only $3 a month and 2 bucks. it's cheap. And you just hit that little gold star right there in the bottom corner. Cheap, and we need to get more subscribers right now. We have 370, which is pretty amazing. Thank you all for, for those of you who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. That really helps the channel while we... It helps me when we go over to Italy next month. Is it cold? It's not really... Oh, Deborah Joseph, sorry. Tartaria and the Tartarian buildings, the mud flood, the avalanche. <laughs> so the whole whole idea is, if you were to, if you were to look underground here beneath the streets, you would find basements. You would find funky doorways. You would find the whole other buildings that were built before the, the mud flood or the avalanche air quotes happened <laughs> and, uh, and, and nobody talks about it it's a secret, they're trying to hide it so it's kind of, a, I think it's a funny conspiracy theory but some people really believe it, they get really into it and when I see a doorway like that I'm like yeah that's a, that's a basement that's, that's called the basement <laughs> but some people are like no dude it's an actual city underneath the city <laughs> but look at how yes completely yeah Liz Azul's got a point though look at the way our buildings now our skyscrapers are just big square ugly boxes but when you look at the old buildings they have all the wonderful details like I used to live in uh, Seattle for example and they have look at the Oaxacan place Ooh, I wonder if that's a good Oaxacan restaurant I'll bet you it is I love Oaxaca um, Seattle's got a whole town underneath the town and it's called uh, Pioneer, Pioneer Square and you can take little tours where you can walk into these buildings that are underneath the other buildings and it's from like the 18th century thank the Ninja Turtles for that conspiracy right but you'll, I'll see lots of uh, TikToks that people have like you know, pointing out that these ancient civilizations are, are being hidden from us because they were so advanced. Like this. That's kind of building. That's a beautiful building, right? With this little, all these details on there. Anyway, <laughs> that's what that conspiracy is all about. So we're looking for 375, 375 Myrtle Street. It's supposed to be a deli that I want to go see. Heroes in the Half Shell, Turtle Power, Wonder Twins, activate. They have it Boston, right? Like Boston must have an old part of town. Philadelphia has an old part that's underground and they've just built right over it. If you were to pull the streets up right here, every street in New York is like four feet deep and it's just full of dirt and pipes and asphalt over the top. So, I mean, it's something to think about when you're in the city. You're kind of like, yeah, that's, that's an interesting thought. But I don't think everything was covered up in an avalanche. I mean, it's just a basement, right? It's a basement with some stairs. That's all it is to me. Uh, do I just walk around New York all the time? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, a couple months ago, we actually, we were... Oh, 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 oh. I gotta catch my... I catch my hoodie here. Um, yeah, a couple months ago, we were doing our thing. Nadine, thank you so much. Ooh, this is a super orthodox neighborhood, huh? Uh, and we were doing our... This kind of walkabout in Paris... We went to Shanna Milano, Cleopatra. Yeah, I guess so. And these regalies, Roger Rabbit. We were in all over Europe for a couple months. And then we're going to go to um, Italy on the 30th of this month. We're leaving. 
and I'm just gonna walk around with the whole point of it all is that I just love to do this these lives on TikTok. Yo, what's up? So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what I do. I don't uh, I don't stream full time, but you know we're almost there. I still work. I still have to work in the city. New York is ex it's extremely expensive. Oh, Margaret, thank you so much. But uh, thank you guys for all the gifts and the tips. And if you want to support the channel, uh, we do, you can any size donation to Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Any size would be appreciated. But uh, yeah, we're going to go. But I still have a form of income to, to some degree. I cook, I cook and I still work. Yeah, my day job, Lisa K. Uh, Margaret Fulson, no, this is like my day off. And I forgot it was a holiday, but this is a holiday today. This street is wild. I have never been here, you guys. This I've never been down this. This is Myrtle Street. See, like this. This is part of that Tartarian thing. This is a brand new building. And it's kind of meh, you know, it's cool. It's awesome. Great windows. Probably has really great lights. But then you see the older buildings. Well, maybe this isn't a good neighborhood. There's not the kind of really beautiful, dramatic older buildings from the last century, but the idea is that how could these older buildings be so incredible and the brand new buildings look like that hey charles h linda morrison and a social security check busy oh, i don't got a check i gotta figure that stuff out i have you know i have epilepsy so it kind of really slowed my career down as a chef i had to get out because it kept having seizures but when i went to try and apply for uh what social security or disability you can't uh, uh, epilepsy isn't really a qualified uh uh disability megan used to live on myrtle dang yeah so you're not going to get if you have epilepsy you, you're, you're not going to get disability or social security for your li whole life yeah yeah is this called crown heights yeah, it doesn't qualify because if you can walk, talk, sit down, I mean, if you can, if you're not 100% disabled, 100%, <laughs> Linda Morrison, I'm 56. Hey, Colorado RJ. So fortunately for me, and I'm very thankful and I'm very grateful, I can walk, talk and sit down I think it is it is wrong and unsane and unfair, but uh, when I tried to apply, they said, well, can you do any work? Grandma, thank you so much for the witchy kitty. Thank you so much. I said, can I do any work? I can't be an executive chef. I was an executive chef. I made six figures. I was like big and important and I used to cook all the time, but I can't do that. And they were like, no, 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 can you do any work? Can you... If we put you in the back corner of a restaurant at a nice table and chair with a nice cloth and a whole bunch of clean silverware, could you polish the silverware for eight hours? And I was like, uh, well, yeah, I guess I could. They were like, yeah, so, no, you're good. <laughs> I was like, Dick, what? Yeah, it's really windy. Umarami. Oh, I missed the Chevy. You got that too, Paula? Why he's running? I, don't, I think he's running like for exercise, I believe. Sam, thank you for the pumpkins. It is messed up, man. But I don't know. I mean, at the same time, I'm. People say, I've talked to people about it over the years, and they're like, you know what? I got disability for something, and I got really depressed, and I just sit here in my apartment, and I get paid enough to live, and all I do is watch TV, and it's like it's kind of a kind of a blessing and kind of a curse because it's demotivating Helen do I no I don't have an attorney <laughs> Let's. but it would be nice if we could have I mean I paid my taxes and stuff right whatever anyway whatever at least we don't have health care so there's that I sometimes think about when we go to Europe last time we were over in Europe for a few months or a couple months I was like, dang, I could just stay over here, man. I could get my epilepsy medication. 
Hmm. Layla says, quit complaining. Go get that. Go get that sandwich. I'm on my way. 375. Andy, thank you. 375 Myrtle. Andy for the pumpkins. Oh, this is dope. They got a little restaurant going on here. Oh, this is cool. Rice. Doing like, yeah, like rice and beans, hot sauce. Can't work because of your MS, and you got to keep shit going down there to prove that you're sick, right? The one with tuna, yes. Hercules, yeah, we're in Brooklyn. Yeah, I asked him when I went into the the office. I still got my all my paperwork from from my bosses that I couldn't work anymore. I got work from my uh, what do they call it? Neurologist. They were like, no, 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 none of that. None of that works for us. So you need me to have a seizure right here on the floor? I could, I might be able to do that. Like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Look at this old store. This is dope. It's all tore up, dirty. Oh man, I love it. Need to appeal it and get a good lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, I really should one day. Meanwhile, we just, we do TikTok, live streams, seven days a week. I go at least an hour every day. Some days we go six or eight hours, walking all over New York City. So do, sub do uh, subscribe if you can. You just hit that star on the screen and at least follow the channel. You'll get notified. Then whenever, whenever we're on the air, you'll get the notification. And it's free to follow. If you guys want to... If, you're in, if you like it, if you like what you're seeing, double tap the screen and it's free to follow. If you guys want to, if you're in, if you like it, if you like what you're seeing, double tap the screen. It's up to, uh, you know, Miriam Velez, thank you for the follow. Yes, if I can get to where I'm full time, thank you, Deborah, you're right. That is my goal. If I can afford to do this full time, then I'll start making enough money. I can do this full time and I cannot have to work in my restaurant jobs. So that is the whole point of this thing. Wink, wink, hint, hint, if you guys hear what I'm saying. <laughs> and we take donations on Venmo and Cash App. Mike Spade, thank you so much. Check cashing place. When I retire, will I get money from the government? I'll get my regular social security, yeah. Now, 56, so I believe the age now is 67 to retire with full benefits. All right, 585. Man, it's, we're, going for, we're looking for 375 for this deli, you guys. I got to find this deli. I got to get one of these sandwiches. Hercules, you are on Franklin Avenue. Oh, that's dope. We're on Clawson and Myrtle. Yo, look at this. This was a dairy company. Something Dairy Company. Diddy's Dairy Company. If I have epilepsy in the UK, you can get independence payment. Yeah, maybe I'll move to the UK. I I liked it. I went to London. We went to London and we went to Scotland and did this. Uh, did our TikTok lives over there. But I liked it. I went to London. We went to London and we went to Scotland and did this. Uh, did our TikTok lives over there all day. And uh, it was awesome. I really liked it. I know a gas station, right? Oh, Layla Ziggy, he's talking loud, huh? Sicko, Nathan's Hot Dogs, Lavazza, Italian Coffee. Gas is three nineteen regular and three twenty nine for. Oh, if you use your card, three nineteen cash, three twenty nine if you use your card. They still take cash at the grocery store. That's crazy. A lot of places don't even take cash. Yeah, I don't drive, so I don't know what's what's good or what's bad. Oh, there we go. M.H. Rankin Dairy Company. That's wild. So anybody recognize the neighborhood? Anybody from around here? Welcome. <clears throat> tax included or excluded? Uh, taxes included. All tax included, it says.
funny how everybody's ducking out of the way of the camera. Maybe everybody does. Do you guys, when you see someone recording or live streaming or walking around, do you get out of the way? Do you duck out of the way of the camera? Because I don't. Rose! Megan! Oh, it's a nice wine shop on the corner. Oh, right in there with the pink sign. Oh, that's really cool. Cheaper than Cali? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, living in New York has been cheaper than living in San Francisco where I grew up. Pool table, backyard. Oh, so this is like gonna be a hipster club, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. The Emerson. Oh, that's a funny name. That's a funny name. Oh, it's Emerson Place. Oh, I thought they were saying something else. Charles H. Guillermo Ochoa. Jimmy Beam. Not yet open for business. Oh, okay. Cool. Emerson Place and Myrtle Avenue. Man, what's going on? Where's how's, How long is this street, for the love of God? All right, hey, check it out here. Look at the cross street. We can look into, what are those buildings down there, you guys? What's up, Jimmy Bean? What's up, Deborah Joseph? Myrtle is long, man. This long street, this is stupid. This street is too long. What are we seeing? Oh, I'm seeing. Thank you, Jimmy Bean. This is the, uh, JP Morgan skyscraper in Midtown. This skinny one is that, that's a 90 story residential building on Park Avenue, on Park and like 54th. So we're seeing, ah, and then this thing right here, kind of in the foreground, is in next to the Diamond uh, Sugar Factory. That's, so that's here in Brooklyn side. And that other stuff there is Manhattan, Midtown Manhattan, next to uh, Central Park. Wow, this neighborhood's dope. I like this neighborhood. This building's really cool too. And the wires, they still got the wires above ground instead of underground. Like most, uh, many big cities in the, in the United States have already put their wires under the street. But this neighborhood still has them above ground. That's cool. Mariana, we're on Emerson and Myrtle in uh, Brooklyn. Is it still called Bedsty? No, we're in Fort Greene. Is it Fort Greene, Brooklyn now? Brooklyn, New York. I've never been here before. That's the Pratt Film Video Institute. Must be a school. Cool. Pinch Punch, what's up? Philly. New Grace Chinese restaurant, I guess. Yep. 30 items to choose different meals every day. Let's see, oh, are they out of business? No, this is pretty classic though. This is a, oh, they got a B. Got the B rating. Oopsie. Should have cleaned the kitchen. Hey, Billy, what's up? Thank you so much, Billy. Billy, Alexi, come in and pet store. No, not a pet store, just like an everything store, right? Oh, look at here. So check this out. Have you, you guys have heard of shrinkflation, right? So this is full-size toilet tissue, right? Full-size. It's $9.99 for one of these, which is a lot. That's a lot of money. But whatever. Hold on a second. I got to do this thing here for TikTok. Got it. $9.99 for six rolls. That's expensive. Maybe that's what it costs. But now look at this. There's four rolls in here. See the, the size of the roll is like that big. And the size of this roll is much bigger. So they've actually retooled the machines in the factory to make the actual roll smaller. I don't know if it's $9.99. It's probably for that $3.99, $4.99. But the rolls are super... Look at my hand against it, right? And then that's clearly a larger size roll. Shrink, that's what they call shrinkflation in the States. Yo, Hello Kitty. Yo, dope. Hello Kitty toilet paper. That's sick. I love it. I love it. Hello Kitty toilet paper. That's so rad. Yo, that's awesome. 
$7.99. So that's so sick. That's awesome. Yeah, so if you've ever heard the, the term shrinkflation, Kirk, what's up, Kirk 2001? The term shrinkflation refers to that. That Hello Kitty toilet paper is dope, huh? I kind of want to go buy that. I don't know what I'm... I'm going to go see my uncle tonight and bring over a six-pack of Hello Kitty toilet paper. That would be crazy. He'd be like, what are you doing? Caroline Blix for the heart me. Thank you. Do you want to take that toilet paper out of my house, please? Sonic <laughs> Kitty makes it fun. The kids want to go, right? I know. You'd buy it one time. So that's shrinkflation. We got inflation and we got shrinkflation. Caroline Blix. European Wax Center. So crazy, mixed up neighborhood, huh? Really, really new stuff. And then really old stuff. Now we're not seeing the kind of the Orthodox uh, or Hasidic people up here. Now it's getting more fancy, huh? Kickboxing store. Yo, Rita, what's up? Oh, here's the clothing guy. What's up, clothing guy? Hey, my brother. What's up, man? Oh, wait, wait. You're not the clothing guy I thought you were. Oh, I'm busted. Don't touch the clothing guy. Brooklyn comes from a Dutch word that means Brooklyn. Mike Sullivan. Yo, but look at this. Now we're back into the, back into the grunge again. He's ignoring me, I know. Yo, this is sick. I love the graffiti of the fallen down building. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. If you haven't hit that follow button, hit the follow button. And uh, you'll get notified when we're on the air. Dude, that's awesome. The V's, oh, the Van Z sign. Yo, look at this thing. It's so old. Sadie, that was good. I'm sorry I couldn't get back on the air, you guys. We were going to go. We went up into the top of the rock. But Rockefeller Center, you, you can't live stream from in there. The, the uh, cell phone reception is non-existent. Chill. Vansy Sign Company. So we went up. We did the top of the rock. Has a new... Oh, thanks, Layla Ziggy. This is dope. I don't... Is this new pretending to be old? Might be, huh? I'm kind of feeling like I'm getting tricked here. It's too... It's too nice looking. Yeah, the lettering is just too nice. But it looks like an old sign company. New Yorker, that's Stanley. Sup? What's up, Stanley? I was watching Stanley earlier. I don't know if, I, if he's still on. If you guys watch Stanley, he's amazing. Met him the other night at that meetup on Saturday night. Met him for the first first time. Very cool dude. Super cool dude. He does his, if you're not, if you're not following him, you probably are following him, I guess, but if you don't, you should follow him, because he's, uh, he does his live stream in Spanish, and he goes for a long time, and he has thousands of followers, like today, we have 500 people in the room, and welcome everybody, it's great to have you here, all 525 people, I'm glad we're all here, Stanley Cooks, oh, I didn't know that, <clears throat> the sign making company, CBB, yo! Thank you so much for the witchy kitties. I guess they make signs and paint stuff. This? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a, a lot where they take uh, cars that are illegally parked. I do not know. Willy nilly! You know, that's a funny observation. That's interesting that you say that. Because he'll have five, six thousand people and somehow he has the ability to remain calm <laughs> underneath all that pressure. I don't know how he does that. This is dope, huh? The interior of this thing's crazy. This terrible wood. It looks like it's half burnt. Slap with some house paint. Paula Bryce, thank you so much. This is rad. The guy with the white hat. The guy with the white... Oh, at the Saturday night at the meetup? That was our friend, uh, Petkula. Xander, what's up, Xander? Is TikTok as popular over there as it is in the USA? I think it's pretty popular everywhere. 
Paula Bryce with the team bracelets. Thank you so much. Guys, those team gifts really help get the channel up. Uh, get us more more people come in the group, you know. I want to be busy like Stanley, you know. I want more people to get in the group. And uh, those team bracelets help TikTok send us people. The guy in the white hat, yeah, that was Pat Killa. I and mean, he was a party in... He was there before I was there, so maybe he was just partying really hard. I don't know. Victoria Stanley. Mm. I think it's Stanley. His page is called Stanley NY and Stanley NYC. Anyway, big streamer, OG streamer from New York City on TikTok. So you, you should check him out because he's cool. Super nice guy. Oh, this is Petey's Pie Shop. I heard there was one over here. I worked briefly at Petey's Pie Shop in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Yo, look how classic this is. This is dope. Yo, this is crazy. So it's new, but it also is styled to look old, right? But yeah, I worked for a minute making pies at Petey's Pie Shops. There's one in the Lower East Side. And their kitchen was down in the basement. You go through that, you have to lift up that thing and go down. Because these buildings are so small here. Dana, thank you so much. You, can't, you don't have room for a kitchen here where you bake lots of pies. You would have to do it underneath the restaurant. But super good pie. All right. New Yorker. There we go. Stanley NYC. <laughs> I don't know how you... Uh, they make... Nah, they're all like... Uh, hey, Strokes, thanks for share. <clears throat> no, they don't make like meat pies. They make like fruits and nuts you know like pecan pie maybe and lots of apple plum pie apple pie cherry pie that stuff and everything is from scratch it's crazy crazy over the top quality they don't buy no none of their fillings are out of a can but a slice of pie is little you know it's you, you're gonna pay for it it's like six bucks for one little slice of pie but super good what's up martin wager 200 the man ashley I'm trying to find this deli at 375. We're getting, how long is this street? This is ridiculous. We're at, we're at 490, come on. Yo, what's up, Murdo from Athens, Greece? This is bull. This is total BS. Whew. Down at Martin Wager, what's up? This is total BS, man. But the sky is beautiful today. Little Felix, thank you for letting him cook. D, Detroit. <laughs> New York City, yeah, see? Yo, Kirk, thank you so much for the paper cranes. You know I love those paper cranes. All right, sorry, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to walk in one direction, but I keep seeing stuff that's interesting. Like, I, this is my other car. I have to park it all the way over here because parking's a little bit cheaper over here. Park it on the street. It's a nice little, pretty fly ride, huh? SL550, dang. No, this is what I wanted to see. Getting a great tour of the neighborhood. Ah, oh, Grant McGillie, what's up? That's a good car, huh? Uh, no, it's a Mercedes, man. Yo, I saw a TikTok this morning of a... It was, it was a Lamborghini. Somebody put this giant, like, truck engine in it, like a diesel truck engine in it. I was like, yo, you ruined that car, man. What the... What are you thinking about? Hey, Sonia. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Auntie Chris. Your bike, isn't it wise cycling in my condition? I don't ride a bike. No, I walk. Um, yeah, with, right, with epilepsy. I used to drive a car. I used to ride motorcycles. Uh, I never was much for riding a bicycle, though. But, and then one day, it, I got, I kind of had an epiphany uh, in a, a moment of introspection, which I hate to do introspection. But it occurred to me, like, uh, if you have epilepsy, you really shouldn't drive a car, Chris. So I went to the DMV, and I turned back. I gave him my license back. I waited in line, and I gave him back my license. I said, here, I'm giving back my license so that I don't drive anymore, because I really have epilepsy. And they were like, what? <laughs> so it was, and it's shouldn't escape word. Yeah, that's part of it, too. I mean, I don't know how many times I fell on my head doing long downhill skateboard runs right and the driver's license it was in Nevada I was living in Nevada at that time 
They're like, you don't have to turn in the driver's license. You can just keep it. Just don't drive. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll drive if I... So take it so that I don't drive. And she said, okay, well, it'll be here if you ever need it. No, no, no. I'll drive if I... So take it so that I don't drive. And she said, okay, well, it'll be here if you ever need it. Hello, little buddy. Well, hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness. You are darling as heck. Oh, sorry. What's that? What's the dog's name? Uh, Toby. Toby. Tobias. Toby. You got a sweater on in the wind, huh? Oh my goodness, Toby. Oh my lord. Oof. Wow. What a great dog. <laughs> that dog is tripping. Little pug. Yeah, from in the movie, right? All right. Oh, here's down, here's uh, Manhattan again. Hold on, let me stop over here and see. That dog is so dope. Oh shoot, I'm losing all my stuff here in my arms. That is, is that a bridge? Is that the Williamsburg Bridge over there? Right here? Could be, right? Hold on, let me wait for these cars to pass or maybe I'll just pick them down there. Who let the dogs out, who, who, who? Annie, what's up? Thank you guys for coming, all 500 people. Thank you, if you haven't hit the follow button. Who, who, who? Annie, what's up? Thank you guys for coming, all 500 people. Thank you, if you haven't hit the follow button. Please do. Uh, thank you, if you haven't hit the follow button. Please do. Uh, Um, you'll get notified whenever we're on the air. Like everybody else, but but about half the time lately, we've done Manhattan a lot, and I know Manhattan like the like the back of my hand. And lately, I've been getting into Brooklyn and Queens, so we've been coming over here a lot. And I don't know where the heck I'm at right now, so it's kind of fun for me because I don't know where the hell I'm at. But that's Midtown, Manhattan. We're in Brooklyn. Are we in, what's it called here? Fort Greene? Bed-Stuy? This is dope. It's a great view, huh? Are we in Long Island City? Uh, also, we're trying to get subscribers. We're having a subscriber, a sub wave. Actually, they're calling it a sub fiesta this month. So please subscribe. It's only $2.09 a month right now. And it does really help. I need to get some cash up because we're leaving to do this in Italy on the 30th. And I'm gonna need some pizza money when I get there. Yo, 2025, Greenpoint, Brooklyn or Long Island City, Queens? We're in Long Island City, right? Or are we in, I don't know, I really don't know. I'm on, <clears throat> oh, here we go, Myrtle and Washington, downtown Brooklyn. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Myrtle and Washington, downtown Brooklyn. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Myrtle and Washington, downtown Brooklyn. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Myrtle and Washington, downtown Brooklyn. what you did Daphne Baker Is that what you did Daphne Baker thank you thank you Daphne Baker for the subscription but when you get but you have to be careful because you'll the uh, Staten Island Ferry has really bad reception so you'll immediately get terrible reception and then when you get to Staten Island uh, yeah, no, I've never streamed from Staten Island either, come to think of it. All right, let's see what's up. Lovely Lisa and Wendy. We just got all glitchy there for a minute, didn't we? It was, was kind of, the internet kind of cut out a little bit, huh? Okay, so we're on Clinton. We're in downtown Brooklyn. Yo, what's up? What's up, Sahaj? What's up, what's up? Yeah, so we're going to take our show over to... Italy on the 30th too. We're gonna go to Rome, so that's gonna be really cool. We just got back from doing. See, there's the Tartarian architecture. 
We just got back from uh, Europe a couple months ago. And it was awesome, yeah. All right, let's see. 375, 375, 375. I think this might be it. This might be it. You need a thousand followers. Oh, yeah, people talking about followers. A thousand followers to go live. Captain Louie? No, this isn't it. 375. How many followers do you need to, to do a live? Yeah, you just once you have your initial 1,000 followers. I thought they changed it, though. I thought you only need 800 or 500. Oh, this is dope. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a screenshot. To me, somebody growing up in California. I live here now, but I'm still always just like, yo, look at that. It's a falafel. It's a... It's a trumpa. It's a trumpa in Spanish, but in in halal, it's a shawarma, right? To me, this is always very exotic because we don't really have this in California. <laughs> That's awesome. They have a trumpa like that in California, but it's to make the tacos al pastor. You put the pork and onions and achiote and pineapple on there. Main, main, yo, look at that. What is this thing? That doesn't fit in the neighborhood at all. You think it's cheap? I bet it's not cheap either. I bet it's expensive. The weather here in New York in December is trash, terrible. I hate it. I'm not a cold weather person. Xander, is this expensive? Oh, thank you, Daphne Baker. Thank you for subscribing. Yo! Uh, is your new favorite building? I like it. I like it. It doesn't really quite fit. It kind of looks a little bit like Miami in 1979. Uh-oh. That's what I think of. I think of Miami. Like a... What's his name? Chris... What's his name? Hawking? The David Hawkings? The painter? Sorry, I'm, I'm <laughs> going through my art history like, oh, willy-nilly. It's getting kind of laggy. Yeah, last block, it kind of lagged a little bit, but it seems okay. Oh, she was, actually, she is smart. She took the light. I'm waiting like a dummy. These nuts, what's up? User, thank you for sharing. Greg, or Miami 2017, right? Yeah. What is that guy's name? David, I can't remember his name. He was a painter from the 70s. Yeah, fun building. And this is, I like this old, older style. That's kind of cool. Looks, reminds me of the 40s or 50s maybe. Hockney, there we go. Hockney, is it David Hockney? He painted those kind of pastels. Yeah, he painted paintings, so like, you know, like paintings on canvas. I think his first name was David, but he painted, David Hockney, yeah, he painted pastels of like, uh, I can think of these ones of like a guy jumping into a pool <laughs> and it's just like the blue water, big sky, like two, three colors. How long have I been in New York? I used to study art history a lot and I always forget because of my epilepsy, my a lot of my memory loss. I forget the stuff that I used to know. The splash. That was a famous one, right? Yeah, I've been here for about seven years. And but I like to I like to travel a lot. So um, since I've been here, very famous painter, right? From Cali. Oh, nice, darling, Xander. Where's this deli? Where's this delicatessen, you guys? This is bullshit. Okay, we're on Claremont and Myrtle. You know a lot about Caro, I do. I mean, that was his most famous one. Um, yeah, I really, I'm like somebody, I used to study it, and I'm like somebody that can't, I do not have a memory anymore, you guys. We, I think we talk about this a little too much, but I have epilepsy, and I have had really big, many really big, grandma seizures over the years and I've because of that and because of other things I have short-term memory loss and long-term memory loss that's pretty significant 
So I sometimes forget what the hell I'm doing. And what I did, the water splash was very realistic. Ah, Marco Horta, originally from California, from San Francisco Bay Area. And I'm excited to go to Rome because I want to see the paintings and the, and the buildings. That's mostly what, what I do on this channel. What we all, every, it seems like everybody on this channel is interested in the buildings. Who walk around and look at these like that's rad that's like a like that's a screenshot you know what i mean that's like a spike lee movie right it's just this kind of this kind of architecture what's up birds what do you guys think about that what do you think birds i'm gonna go get that dog over here birds that's a bird dog carola says for the follow duke i don't know um yeah, I like building history, I like art history, paintings, all the details. I just got a one-way ticket to Rome, too, so we don't know where we're going to go while we're there, how long we're going to be there. This is at the Farmer Deli. Oh, 24 hours. Sick. I wonder if it's expensive. It's probably going to be expensive. Hey, your daughter saves the... Oh, that's awesome. All right. Oh, it's got pictures of, like things you see in Brooklyn. There's the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge. We were just here yesterday. Or oh, not yesterday, but one other day we were there. We were here on Saturday. That's Prospect Park, right? Well, let me get a glass of water. Uh, are, are we in Queens? No, I think we're in Brooklyn. User, yo! Thank you for the baby hippos. That's awesome. Simone, what's up? Salons, delis. It's actually a lot of people. I think we're in Brooklyn. All right, let's go see what's up in the deli. House. Got to have the house for me. If you're in New York, got to have the house New York Seltzer. All right, let's see what's up. Get a sandwich. Yo, Patricia Black, what's up? Hey, Patricia. Patricia's here in town. I so Oh, sorry, that's me. Let me turn this camera around. Patricia lives in the area, and we sometimes work at the same place. We do catering work. And a couple weeks ago, I walked into this job. They called me on the fly. Hey, Chris, can you come down here? And, uh, oh man, what a cool building. And when I got there, Patricia Black was in there. She was working. Uh, if you guys don't follow Patricia Black, she's awesome. She's one of our members. She's, she's in, the, in the room right now, or she was 10 seconds ago. Sanshi, Dia Bailar, what's up? This is Fort Greene, okay, cool. Your house blew up on Saturday. Rita, for the follow. Guys need to follow Patricia Black. She's awesome. Um, let me put on my... I'm tired of holding on to this. Uh, I got this hoodie and I can't hold on to it anymore. Hold on. I got my... I got my Mets colors on tonight. They lost really bad last night. Hopefully... If I wear my blue and orange, the Mets will win. Hey, Alberta, Canada. Georgie. Yeah, she's a doll. She's super, super nice. What's up, 9090? Oh, I think the Mets are going to win tonight if I wear my blue and gold, my blue and orange shoes. What's the oldest deli in New York area? Kenneth says. Wow. I don't know. I mean, I guess it. what's a deli, you know what I mean? What do you qualify as a deli? I'm thinking immediately of this old place that makes knishes. It's right on, what street is that? Houston Street? And his name is Moisha something or other. That thing is old, but it's not really a deli. There's probably the oldest deli. Would Might be in Bronx, I bet. Suki Nakimich, yeah? Uh, you think the Mets are gonna take it? All right, sorry, tripping. Good reception in here. Okay, good reception. Let's go to the counter. Let's see what a sandwich costs. Let's see what a sandwich costs. Do I gotta take a number? I gotta go to the back, okay. California Dodgers, New York. Let's see where it's going. Let's see how this is going. Everybody's lining up. Oh, a lot of people. Two, four, six, seven, or eight, or 10 people. You met up with Tiva and Oof, a lot of people. Two, four, six, seven, or eight, or ten people. 
You met up with Tiva and Kelly. Oh, awesome. On their way to the airport, right? Chop tuna. You know this place. Way to the airport, right? Chop tuna. You know this place. Yo, what's up? I can't read it. My eyes are so bad. I'm going to have to get closer. We're going to have to get closer. What's up? Albania. Mila. Yoshi. Marco Antonio Horta. But yeah, Hero <laughs> Hero <sent. laughs> JMO for the follow. Get a Joe's tea, of course. Of course, of course. Yeah, the ceiling tiles are great. We're getting, it's kind of freezing up a little bit, but. Beautiful, huh? Let's see, this place does chopped sandwiches. Chopped cold sandwiches. Let's see, this place does chopped sandwiches. Chopped cold sandwiches. This is gonna be crazy. I've never, I saw a TikTok about this. Chicken, turkey, beef. This is dope, man. So dope. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. 3.40 in the afternoon. It took me long enough to get down here. Dang. So here's the sandwich prices. Not bad. $9.50 for a hero, which is the large one. $7.50 for a roll, which is a really small one. I'm assuming I haven't been here before, but this is crazy. Let's go check it out. I'm excited, actually. I'm excited. I've been kind of daisy. I've been kind of daisy and dizzy all day too. So this will wake me up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Chop sandwiches. They only have a few. So this will wake me up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Chop sandwiches. They only have a few. Chicken or turkey, tuna. Oh, you're a hero. Okay. I need some food. Yeah, man. This is a place that chops up your sandwich. The Deshwa, what's up for the follow? Yeah, some protein on hell. It is expensive, yeah. You've been seeing this place trending for the chop sandwich. Oh, very cool. Well, I probably won't be able to make a, a TikTok out of it because I'm bad at making videos, but we're good. Oh, very cool. Well, I probably won't be able to make a, a TikTok out of it because I'm bad at making videos, but we're good at doing lives, right? So sick, look at that. So they chop it all up. Oh man, that's crazy. It's a uh, raining city, what's up? That's awesome. So it's on a roll. So a hero is larger, a roll is, that's still pretty big for the roll though. That's a lot. I worked one of these 40 hours a week. I stood there and just freaking sliced meat. He sliced meat for 40 hours a week. How you doing, man? Can I get a chop tuna on a hero? Chop tuna on a hero? Yeah, thanks, man. Get a chop tuna on a hero? Chop tuna on a hero? Yeah, thanks, man. Yes. Thanks, man. Yes. It's like a really old ceiling that makes sure it comes in, all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's lagging a little bit. Let me try and maybe if I move, 
make sure it comes in, all right? Yeah, it should be, it's lagging a little bit. Let me try and maybe if I move just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it was lagging a little bit. In a little bit. Yep. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, switch. Huh? Huh? No. Everything but a boiled egg. <laughs> yeah, that'd be perfect, actually. No. Everything but a boiled egg. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be perfect, actually. Pickled pepper, not a boiled egg, though. Two, yeah, that's good. What's up, Necky and Nick? So they order the sandwich, they chop it all up. That's a big sandwich, though, bro. This is going to last me two days. That's two days. That's a big sandwich, though, bro. This is going to last me two days. That's a two days sandwich right there. No, Pam or Rob, I don't do the egg, man. That's amazing. This is so cool. I heard about this place. I'm sure it can't taste bad, man. That's going to be great. Oil and vinegar and mayonnaise and relish and pickles and peppers. And lettuce, tomatoes, and Swiss cheese, and onions. Yo, that's gonna be crazy. Suki Nakamich, you know that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be out of hand. So he added three bucks for the cheese, which is gonna put it uh, on a roll. That's gonna make it uh, 13, 14. Put it uh, on a roll. That's gonna make it uh, 13, 14, 15 dollars. Yeah, a little bit of lettuce. No, you can't have too much mayo. There's no such thing as too much mayo, right? Yeah. Looks freaking... That's a two-day sandwich right there. I ate that for two days. That's a two-day sandwich. What day of the week is this? Huh? Let me pull out my, my Louis Vuitton wallet to try and pay for it. My, uh, my, Louis, my Louis Vuitton. Do I have any more dollar bills? Shoot. My Louis Vuitton wallet. Not that one, you got your four credit. <laughs> Shit. Oh, excuse me. Thanks, man. Oh, there's a counter right there. Cool, man. Thank you. Did I pay over there. Uh, okay, thank you. Ambrosia Food Mythology Network. There's a food person who just followed the channel. Welcome. So we're in this place where they make chopped sandwiches. It's called the Farmer in the Deli in Brooklyn. It looks freaking great. No Bev? <laughs> Don't forget the Bev, Kev. <laughs> oh my, it's OMG. Ah, oh, Jane for the follow. The sandwich is the size of my head. It probably weighs more than my head. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, oh, there's price on it. Chopped tuna with cheese. Uh, I've been good. Oh, you know what? I got to, uh, oh, I can tap my phone on that, right? Yeah. Hold on a second. I got to tap my phone on the thingy, on the thing or my dealer. I'll just take a phone on that, right? Yeah. Hold on a second. I got to tap my phone on the thingy, on the thing or my dealer. I'll just take a second. You know what else? Can you can you break a five so I can give this guy a tip? You know what else? Can you can you break a five so I can give this guy a tip? Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Okay, I'm doing it. Yeah. What kind of cheese? American. Yellow or white? Um, you get yellow. Yellow. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. 
right behind you, right behind, right behind with the door open. Oh, it was gonna rain. Holy Toledo. Yo, how was it? Yeah, man, that he made a hell of a sandwich. He only charged me $11.99 for that. I thought he was gonna charge me a lot more. Mila, what's up? Chipping the chopper. I hope the reception was okay there, you guys. I saw for a minute it was kind of lagging a little bit. So it is definitely going to rain right now. I am going to be eating this in the rain. I can tell you that in my shorts. <laughs> but I got my Mets shoes on. So so here's a cool old doorway. The rails are being replaced or something because there ain't no rails on this. They no, there's no rails on this at all. That one, see how they have rails? And this one's a full on proper stoop right here. Yo, Eunice, thank you for following. Patricia Black, Lauren Pissarros, thank you guys for grabbing that stuff. Moderators in the house today, thank you so much for doing all that stuff, getting rid of those skanky little bots. So this is somebody's stoop. If you're not familiar with, uh, with uh, Brooklyn or New York in general, a stoop is this staircase that you, it's in front of somebody's house and you sit on it. This one, you can see though, they have the camera here and the camera there. They're not fooling around. I am not gonna sit on their stoop. When they have pumpkins, Clarice, you know it. It's coming, it's 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 uh, October right now, right? So this has a new door on it. It's got an NYC inspection uh, sign. I'm gonna go up this stoop and I'm gonna see what it says. They're all in various states of um, disrepair. This one's being altered. No, but people are living in it. They're just redoing the floor or something. So that's somebody's actual house. But these ones that don't have any rail on it, Lady Babs, Jimmy Beam, Gus, Lauren Passaros, Nikki and Nick. And this door is kind of crummy. Those windows are broken. You see that? That top window is broken and there's a curtain wagging out of it. Hold on, I'll show you. Put down my chopped sandwich. Don't go anywhere, dude. Right, it's all broken. It's all broken. Haunted house, looks vacant. It's got that Halloween, got that Halloween vibe. All right, so we're gonna have our sandwich. <laughs> we're gonna sit on the stoop at the Halloween house and have our sandwich. This is the neighborhood right here. The pharmacy, Myrtle Avenue, and the side street is what? Adelphi? Adelphi Street? Adelphi. Brownstones have stoops to keep dirt out when there was a horse-drawn carriage. Ow! Oh, yo, I've heard that too. Like the streets would be full of uh, horses and, and road apples. The road apples would be everywhere. <laughs> Sleepy Joe. Thank you for the heart me. We call them, I call them road apples. I heard that when I was a little kid growing up in California. That's called a road apple. A stoop sandwich. Ah. 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 All right, let's have a stoop sandwich with some Howl's New York Seltzer. Ah, David Rogers, what's up? Follow the channel, you guys. If you can, subscribe. Support the channel if you can. I would really appreciate it. Any size amounts, we take PayPal. Uh, what's it called? The other one? Oh, Cash App and what's the other one? Hey, Hayden, thank you for the follow. What's the other one called? Venmo. The information's in the bio. You can go right there and, and click on that. Cash App Venmo. Thank you, PayPal. Yeah. Um, we're going to Rome on the 30th. Mm. Yeah, let's share the sandwich because I have no way I can. This thing weighs like a, as much as a bowling ball. Christopher, yo, with 10 subscriptions, my man. Mwah, the chef's kiss. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Christopher. So what that means is if you're in the room right now, Christopher just bought 10 subscriptions. They're gonna go randomly to, to 10 people who happen to be here right now of the 540 people who are here. Not gonna cost you anything. It's not gonna reach, read, it's not gonna automatically renew at the end of the month. But they will ask you, hey, you wanna renew? I hope that you do 30 days from now. And we'll try and earn it this month. 
Yo, this is crazy. So this stoop sandwich, we're sitting on somebody's stoop here in the Halloween stoop, but this house is vacant right now. We got this sandwich at this place called the Farmer's Deli, the Farmer in the Deli. It's starting to get really windy and it's gonna rain in a second. Christopher, thank you so much for those 10 more. Christopher has been throwing down lately on the subscriptions. So you go to the Farmer in the Deli, they chop up everything in your sandwich. You can watch the guys chopping the hell out of it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think, I feel like I've been doing sandwiches all wrong all my life. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, were you telling me to get a tuna? It's chopped tuna with Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, hot peppers, oil and vinegar, mayonnaise, and the guy just whacks it all up with a knife in front of your face. Naomi, what's up? Yeah, we're going to... Um... <laughs> Thank you, laddie. Freaking amazing. On a roll, on a roll, it was $11.99. So in, in Europe, that would be, what's up, Pepper King? That's probably 10 in euros. Nowny. Daddy, Pepper King, thank you so much. In England, it's probably nine in English pounds, right? We were just over there last month. We spent two months over we had London for a few weeks. We did Paris for a few weeks. The, English, the dollar's not real strong over there, so it's kind of, it costs a little bit, you know? Bro. Bro. Bro, this is amazing. Bro. 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 No, UK, everything in the UK was expensive. This in UK was like, this $12 here in the UK would have been, what, 10 pounds? My God, and he wanted to put a boiled egg in it. I don't do about boiled egg in my tuna sandwich. Oh my God, wait, it's getting windy. Yeah, it's huge, this is huge. I can't even begin, I can't even begin. All right. Oh my lord. Now the wind is starting to get a little bit crazy. Yeah. If the, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Sharon. I want to lose my. Somebody said the sandwich is gonna blow away. Yo, this sandwich is. It weighs too much to blow away. It's this sandwich is part of this staircase now. I wonder if somebody lives here. The doorway. See the glasses all broken up there. Our uh, doors all messed up. I don't think anyone lived. And they took the rails off, right? See right there, there's no rails on that one either. There would be rail. There looks like they're gonna put in rails on this. This is brand new. I'm not sure if it's brand new, but like these ones right here, this is under renovation. And the two on the end are like renovated. They look super majestic and perfect and expensive. And I'm sure they're so probably Somebody has bought up all these these last three, and they're gonna renovate the, renovate the rest of these two. Billy, what's up? This sandwich is gonna last until I go to Italy, hopefully. Oh my God, Lord, that's good. Yes, and the basement is where, yeah, that's an apartment, somebody's front door. Ooh, look at the old curtains and all the old dusty ass furnishings in there. That's actually terrifying. That's what's scary to me. It's like a sled or something. Ooh, creepy. Ooh. 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 Oh, that's creepy, man. Uh, Robin, we're gonna, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's kind of scary. And these weeds that are supposed to be plants, like, bro, those are weeds, man. Come on. Quirty Ergo, what's up? You can't fool me. Those are freaking dandelion weeds sandwich is crazy this sandwich is nuts yeah so we're gonna go to rome 
we're leaving on the 30th, and then, uh, oh, I heard the, there's a noise in there. I think they opened the door. No, the door is already, it's broken open. Yo, what the, f what is up? Hold on a second. See, the door is cracked, right? See, the door is open like two inches. I don't know if it was like that or if they just moved. I thought I heard a sound over there. Could have been a rat. Oh, dude. What's up, Columbia? Dude, I'm gonna eat this sandwich. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Whatever, if it's a ghost, they can fight me for it. What's up? Yeah, this sandwich is crazy. Mm. The eyeballs, I like that. Gigi, Camilla from Colombia. Virginia, Olia. So this is a chopped sandwich. The place is called The Farmer in the Deli. You gotta go there. Oh my God. That's like clean and renovated on the inside too. I assumed it was gonna be like an old bodega. It's actually really cool. It's a lot. This is a lot of food, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta catch up with the comments. Oh my gosh. Eminem. Christopher, thank you for those subscriptions. That's incredible. Jay, I'm getting hungry. I know, it's awesome. Actually, over in Europe, it's now, it's, uh... 10 o'clock? 11 o'clock? 12 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock in England and it's 10 o'clock in France, right? Or it's nighttime. Mm. 8 and 10. <clears throat> All right. I think Italy is six hours in front of us, right? Time zone? Hey, Simone Beckett, how you doing? I think Italy is six hours ahead of us, so I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be different, though. It's gonna be kind of weird. I hope uh, our regular viewers back in the States don't get upset. France is one hour in front of the UK. Uh, hold on. No, it's good. I'm great. I thought that was a ghost. I thought that was a ghostly apparition. What's up, Pat Killer? How you doing, man? I thought it was a ghostly appar apparition of a uh, Christmas past. What's up, Pat Killer? All right. I take my med. <laughs> yeah, I did. For those of you who don't know what that means, I, th I think sometimes if people don't know what that is, did you take your meds? I take medication because I have epilepsy and people often remind me because I forget to take my medication and I don't mind being reminded. Nice meeting you, Pat Killa. You're awesome. <laughs> In case you're wondering why everybody, that's not, they're not trying to say anything mean to me. You acting funny. Did you take your pills? <laughs> Tina Rosa, what's up? Uh, Clarice, I take my meds like twice a day. Yeah, they're just reminding me because we have a, you guys, this is a great group, man. We, don't, we got 500 of us in here right now, 560. And you know, sometimes there's 260 and sometimes there's 1,660. And it fluctuates, it, it, uh, and, I'm, and I'm really glad because it makes it more fun, it's a variety of, sometimes it's kind of intense when there's 2,000 people in the room, you know? But it's fine, I don't mind it. That's what I was saying earlier about uh, Stanley, like man, that dude got 6,000 people in the room <laughs> while he's walking around, yo! Thank you for the subscriptions. Dang, what was that all about? This part of Brooklyn, I think. Who did this? Who got those subscriptions? Jose, you got one. Robert, you got one. Ern, CJ, Mary, and LG. Oh, LG, we are in Fort Greene, I believe. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Was that Christopher again? Uh, thank you, Christopher, again. That's freaking awesome. The um, Duck Hunt, thank you for following. This part of town is called Kevin. Thank you so much for the pumpkins. There's the deli that we got it at. It's called the Farmer in the Deli. It is open 24 hours. 
That's crazy. Oh, I'm gonna come over here in the middle of the night. That's bad. That's actually really bad news. I'm gonna be here at like four in the morning getting cookies and stuff when I'm insomniac. Dang, we don't make sandwiches. We build them since 1950. Bro, bro, I'm gonna turn it this way. So sick. Farmer in the deli. So sick, love it. So good. Um, what was I saying? We were talking about 10 things. Who was, was that Christopher again? Yo, Christopher is amazing. He's amazing for doing that. Thank you, Christopher. Yeah, so the subscription thing, if you got a subscription, don't be scared. It's not gonna charge you a thing. It's free, it's a gift. Christopher got it for you. Yo, look at this old diner. This is dope. It doesn't renew automatically at the end of the month. But at the end of the month, TikTok's gonna send you a, a, a little tiny message saying, hey, you're about to you're about to run out. Do you wanna resubscribe? And it's I think two dollars and ninety-nine cents. So we would love it if you would say yes. But in the meantime, it's all good. Feels like it's gonna rain. The bar stools are crazy, right? Thank you, Christopher. Jimbo, Xander, Pat Killa with the heart me. Sandy, YXM. Yeah, the farmer, that's awesome, huh? Christopher the Wing. Silent Feather. Iffy. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta try and figure out what I'm doing here. <clears throat> There's another 24 hour deal. Is this really open 24 hours? I am moving in. I'm gonna be here. Myrtle Street, man, I dig this. This is crazy. 24 seven? That's what I miss. I've been staying in Brooklyn for a while now. Um, until we go to, now it's not cold and windy anymore. Until we go on the 30th to uh, uh, Italy. I've been staying in Brooklyn. I'll be here until then. To uh, uh, Italy. I've been staying in Brooklyn. I'll be here until then. Oh, I hope I don't get hit by a car. Nelson, thank you for the follow. South Gadad, South, South Georgia Dad? Halloween in Italy. Yeah, I wonder what Halloween is gonna be like in Italy. I guess we'll find out. This is a supermarket? Where the hell are we? This is so weird. This is the weirdest street. Oh, this is downtown Brooklyn. I can tell by that big black tower right there, right? Hey, Philippines, what's up? Oh, I gotta put on my reading glasses again. Is this brunch? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Oh, yeah, Grant, you missed it, man. That deli? We got that sandwich at the deli. We found it. It went in there. It said they make... You order a sandwich and they chop it up. Uh, actually, we're in uh, Brooklyn. They chop up this sandwich and... Uh, we already got it. I ate as much as I could, which was about a quarter of it. What are the sounds? Could be windy, maybe. Oh, wait. I feel like I've been here before. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't know. You guys know. Oh, and the other sounds. Oh, yeah. I don't even, I don't even notice it. It looks like they're building a building or working on the building or renovating it. or Nah, they're building it from scratch. Yeah, New York City ASMR. Makes you fall asleep during the day and it keeps you up at night. Bro, my neighborhood is so expensive. I mean, it's so, it's so expensive. It's so loud at night. It's ridiculous. It's so crazy how loud my neighborhood is at night. All right. Yo, my God. Yeah, that was, uh, it was like a can of tuna, you know, but it was good though. Can of tuna, Swiss cheese, all chopped up. I thought he was gonna use the can to chop it up, and I was kind of like, "Oh, y'all don't don't do that." A lot of knife, and he did. He did get a knife out. So this park is what Fort Greene Park. Rob and Lucia, you keep losing me. I'm losing you. Let's see what these houses are all saying. I thought it was gonna rain five minutes ago, but instead it was just like Halloween scary, and that one scary doorway. I didn't show you the scary guy that came out. The stuff that I don't show you guys, I wish I could show you sometimes. <laughs> the scary guy that comes out, you're like, oh shoot. 
but you know, TikTok's got their terms of service, you know what I mean? All right, what do houses cost in the neighborhood? Here's this one, 328 Myrtle Avenue, right upstairs of Domino's Pizza. The whole building is for sale, including the Domino's. Cool, okay. And it is $2.75 million. And you got a Domino's Pizza in your basement. 2.75 million. And that's that's a lot. I don't think you, or maybe the Domino's is out of business. But the only way they could sell it is if that Domino's is vacant now, right? They couldn't sell it with the build with the business still in it. How about this one? 26, 26 262 Vanderbilt Avenue. 500 square foot floor. This is 500 square foot for sale. No, oh, it's for lease. It's for lease. Is there a price? Oh no, no price. Well, that's no good. I want to see the prices. 2.75 million for this entire seven unit building in Fort Greene. Bro, that's crazy. Oh, they're buying it from Domino's. Yeah, Domino's is not good. Um, if you could buy that whole thing for $3 million, though, and rent it out and live in it, yo, that would be crazy. The lease, there's, I couldn't find a price here. There's no price. 500 square foot. Looks like a garage, right? Here's these ones. Right where we sat and had lunch. Like these three windows here and the basement. Oh, but it's this well, this one right here. That little house is 2.25 million. 2.25. Building size is 18 feet by 45 feet. The whole lot is 2,400 square feet. That's actually too small for that price, isn't it? That's expensive. But yeah, the big one. Yeah, the big one. Uh 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 uh. Yo, Funkle Bear, I'm on my way. Definitely. Sandra, Joe Beck, sweet dreams for the follow. What a cool neighborhood. Um. And this is the park. Where am I from? Where are we from right now? We're, oh, I like this. Triumph. We're in. Fort Green, Brooklyn. Nathan, Christopher H., what's up? Brooklyn, USA, New York. Great neighborhood. Triumphs, a lot of motorcycles. These, these bikes, I'm seeing a lot of this size, of these size of bikes. The Triumphs and the, uh, what's the other one? The Royal Enfield. I'm seeing a lot of those motorcycles these days in Brooklyn. KK, Nathan Christopher, sweet dreams. Charlie, HFT, HFT, I can't read all that. That's crazy. Uh, Devin, what's up? Yeah, these brownstones are wild, huh? Yo, look at this. Talk about Halloween. Wow. 169. Ooh, that is spooky. Halloween is coming up. Sandra, the meetup. Saturday night. Yeah, the meetup was dope. It was really, really cool. All right, how do I get to, I'm going toward downtown, right? Hey, Michiku. Yo, look at this too. You can step out on the little balcony up here. Yo, that's amazing. But there's not really a door. You'd have to climb out the window to go out there, huh? Wow, sick. Very Adams Family, right? Some of this stuff in the neighborhood, it's got an Adams Family vibe. Sa, for the follow. You are on 1313 Halsey. See, look at this. This is a, this is a stoop, man. Look at those big rails. That's a stoop. Those are stoops right there. You have to climb out the window, right? All right. So I'm trying to go to a subway station because I gotta go. I want to go. I'm going to go to the upper uh, west side of Manhattan. So when I get to the subway, we're not gonna have. We won't be able to maintain the uh, connection. But let's, well, I still got to get to the subway anyway. Do stoops get icy? They do, yo. It's horrible. 
you go outside and and uh, it, there'll be snow and ice on the thing and you can't tell until you step on it you know the worst oh yeah yo look at this this is dope this is crazy this is a bit like harlem harlem kind of looks a bit like this on some of the neighborhoods 130 31 32 look like this beautiful style of house so these are a little bit different than the ones in harlem these are pretty nice too harlem's got incredibly beautiful row houses though I don't, I don't know these are incredibly beautiful row houses too yeah how many minutes to walk over to oh yeah where's the huxville residence at is that in brooklyn or is it supposed to be in brooklyn or what no i think it's in yeah the cosby house yeah god beautiful houses i used to live in one not here but the, in uh when i was up in harlem i lived in a place but like down in the basement i rented out a basement it was hell expensive too could not afford it power green mario personal trainer matea yeah brooklyn's awesome huh all right you guys don't forget to follow the channel like and share the channel if you can paul carey yeah ellie we're in new york city we're in brooklyn actually brooklyn new york Tracy Sisk for the follow. The weather is actually beautiful, quite beautiful. Even though I'm a I'm a warm weather guy, and it's it's but it's getting like fall and windy, and the trees are trees are blowing around. But it's it's actually really beautiful. You see the dirt flying through the air and everything. Cosby House was at 10 St. Luke's Place, Manhattan. Ah, looks like Boston. Ah, oh, cool. 84 in Boca. Don't make me jealous. Don't make me jealous, man. Shoot, I should go to Boca Raton, Florida. That would be crazy. Florida's awesome. Yo, yo. Holy sh! It's windy. But we're going to we're going to Rome on the 30th. I was talking to Dave last night. I I gotta really work on this with Dave. Look at these windows, man. So awesome. Um, where's the subway around here? He's gonna try and I'm gonna try and get together with this guy in uh, Naples. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, Rome's gonna be dope. I've never been there. I never really even thought about much about it. You know, I want to go to Naples. So Naples, Napoli, Naples, right? 90s Jack of Austin. 90s in Austin today. That's beautiful too. I used to live in, used to live right on, right near the corner of Mainer Road and Airport in Austin for a few years. Not far. I could walk to work from there it's right now. It's right near downtown Austin. Now Austin is just gigantic. Gi giant city, Austin. Uh, the name of this street? I don't know. We're in Fort Greene. You know the area? I'm sure you do. It's not far from, right? It used to just be a mess, but last time I was down there, it's all fancy now. They got condos and stuff. Um, you sent me three different TikTokers in Italy. Oh yeah, was that you, Sadie? I think I saw that. So this is DeKalb. Oh, so the subway's on DeKalb. I know there's a subway on DeKalb Avenue. And this cross street that we are walking on is, uh, boy, if I was and this cross street that we are walking on is, uh, boy, if I was better at this, this entire scene, it's really beautiful. Washington Park, Washington Park Street. Kid's got a unicorn helmet on. Yo, look at this truck, I love this. My buddy Mike had a truck just like this, that same color. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey Mike, what's up? Here's your truck. She's 1984, bro. Um, subway, subway, subway. Just gonna keep going this way. I think the subway station's over there. Thinking, or maybe it's over here. Maybe it's over here. Nice truck, man. 
Um, look at the little dachshund. What's up? Oh my goodness. You're so cute. A little scaredy little dog. I can, see, I can see why. Where's the subway? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? You know where the subway is? How, no? He's, he, didn't even, he didn't even answer me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> he just looked at me. <laughs> Boo! That guy didn't even, he didn't even answer me. He looked at me like, Hey, can't you see I'm busy ignoring you? Come on, man. Hi, I am lost. Oh, you're lost too. Yeah, right? Exactly. Okay, subway, subway, subway. Got to be a subway over here. DeKalb. Oh, you know what? I think I'm near... Hold on a second. These streets are awesome. What's up, you guys? Um, where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? I think I might be near the Atlantic Center where the where the Nets play basketball. Subway is over in this area, right? I can feel there's a subway over here somewhere, right? I can feel the vibe. Subway is on this block. I, I think so. Yeah, cool. Cool. These are beautiful brownstones. Brick brownstone. And often they're covered up. They're kind of like stuck, stuccoed over. Do you guys want to dip or redo? Nah, I'll just leave it. Good lord, it's so Halloween-y, huh? Oh, 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 it's so autumnal. That guy, that he was in a New York state of mind. I'm in a New York state of mind. Don't ask me where the subway is, punk. <laughs> the natural, yeah. Like this is more what I think of when I think of a brownstone because they, they do the outside, you know. It's Lindsay and Tavo. Thank you all for following. Yeah, we're in New York. We're in Brooklyn, New York. And I must be down the street from the subway, right? I feel it. And they're working on this. I don't know what this is. A school or something. This is gigantic. Got to be a grade school, right? <laughs> Bram 1968. Wow. Dog beautician, Matthias. I sound like Stevie Nicks. <laughs> yeah, these days. She got her voice is a little rough, huh? Guys, follow the channel. You got to follow the channel. If you haven't done that yet, hit that red button that says follow and join the group. Somehow, somehow we got like 61,000. I don't really know how that happened. Turned around and suddenly, Judith, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> no, don't worry about me. Take it easy on uh, Stevie Nicks now. The subway is up the block. Yeah, it's beautiful. Imagine walking down these steps every day. Nice, huh? Very romantic. Lafayette Street. I think it says Lafayette. Look at that, dude. That's crazy. Wow. I think I think I'm Lisa. I might be heading the right way, right? Somebody tagged uh, Lisa's comment. I think this is what she means. Philip Crompton for the follow. Judith for the follow. Jules for the follow. Actually, the rats should take me to the. Yeah, right. If you see the little animals going down the stairs, and here's a bus stop. We're on Lafayette. Yeah, I think from here, I see downtown. That's got to be downtown Brooklyn, right? Klepto Cat, you'd be surprised. I think a lot of the... Somebody said, where's the homeless? And a lot of people always say, where's the immigrants? Where's all the crime? Where's all the danger? You're like, bro, yeah, okay. I mean, be, a really, be realistic. That stuff does exist. But New York is the safest city. You come spend spend a, a couple days here. You're, you're never going to want to leave. Take a right turn. Okay, thank you. What was that Lisa's picture that just went by? <laughs> oh, that was Miss Adiyemi. It's a very safe city. You used to take the L every day. 
Yeah, the L is good. <laughs> Thank you, Olga. <laughs> Xander, Jelly Bean, what's up? Renzo Viegas for the follow. Yeah, California's a mess. I grew up there. I grew up in the Bay Area and lived there for till I was like 28. So now I'm 56. Dang, that's crazy. That's half my life, huh? Shoot. And yeah, NYC is great. It's not LA. Xander Jellybean, thank you for the follow. Um, even Oakland, where I spent uh, many years when I was growing up as a kid. Oakland was a mess. You know, we had our trouble. Um, but now, San Francisco, oof. San Francisco is a wreck, dude. Oakland's better than San Francisco now. You live in Oakland, Hayden. What's up, Hayden? That's awesome. I lived for years in uh, Alameda on the corner of Grand and Santa Clara. I used to live, uh, I had a place down, down by the lake, down by Lake Merritt. But last time I, and checked, last time I was in the Bay Area, I didn't even recognize it. I drove through Oakland and I was like, what? What? What'd you guys do with all the corners where I used to hang out with my homies and ride our skateboards and get in trouble and light some incense and meditate? Happy Maria, Dexter72 for the follow. It's like they took whole sections of the town and just took in some bulldozers and pushed, raised the whole thing. Why for the follow? Happy Maria. Oh, you're in SF right now. That's dope. I love the city. Hey, Milan, Jonathan walking tour. What's up? Oh, oh, he smelled my sandwich. Oh, um, yeah, Jonathan, what's up? Jonathan is a, is a live streamer in Milan, and he's great. We're going to go to Rome on the 30th, John. You're going to come to New York, Devin? Awesome. That dog was cuter than a button. Shinan, for the follow. Thank you. Oh, where's the subway? Oh, I see. I think I see a subway sign. Hold on a second. Yup, I see a subway. D. Sick. Courtney. Oh no, don't don't be the G train. I hate the G train. It's the G train, isn't it? Two blocks over. I see a G right here on Portland, South Portland. This part of town is dope. What the hell is this? This is sick. Oh, look at those clouds. The sea is on Fulton. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the sea. Larissa, what's up? What's popping? What's crack lacking? Uh, Fulton Street G right here. Or go this direction to get to the... Uh, do I take the Fulton G or not? I'm trying to go to Manhattan right now. Go to Fulton a couple blocks. Okay. I don't know, that's a G train, except church or court, church or court, church or court. If I take court, I gotta go all the way to Queens. But the, you know what though? I'm gonna do that. I got four minutes till the next train, so I'm gonna do that. At least I'll be on a train, right? You know that feeling? You're waiting for the train, wondering if it's even gonna come because I'll, at least I'll be on a train, right? You know that feeling? You're waiting for the train, wondering if it's even gonna come because all the trains are so bad, you, you never know if they're gonna... So you just take the first train because it's a train. Yeah. Don't take the G to... Uh, I know, I hate the freaking G train, I really do. I'm gonna do it though. Yeah. Don't take the G to... Uh, I know, I hate the freaking G train, I really do. I'm gonna do it though. Raymond Connolly, be nice. What's up, be nice? I run a full tune. Let's see if we can go. I'm gonna try and go to, if I can go to Court Square, I'll go up to, to catch the seven train and go into Manhattan. Cross down to Queens, Court Square. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do this one. I know I probably should have taken the A, but uh, lately this has been so under construction. I've taken it a lot lately and I don't even friggin' know what's up. You never, I don't know when it stops. They were skipping stations all day and night. It's a different, it's different every day and different every night. Coco, I know, do not take the G. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do it though. If I see a train coming, I'm gonna get on it because it's either gonna go to Court or it's gonna go to uh, Court Square or Church. So I gotta end up in one of those places, right? Where's the rats? Yeah, the A is always so bad lately. Schmabes for the follow. Slay for the follow. Slay. I'm looking for some rats. You guys want to see some rats? I was just on the train yesterday with uh, uh, with Kelly and uh, Tiva. We were looking for rats, but we couldn't find any. Actually, this one is this station is pretty clean and dry. Take the G to Hoyt and transfer over. Yeah, that's true. I'm on. If I go to court, though, I, I'll take it up to the seven train, and then shoot over because I'm going to the Upper West right now, so I can go to seven to Times Square and then grab a two, three, and go north. Andersburg, Cairo. No peeps. I know that's a little. It's a little unnerving. You see, there's people on this side, which tells me the train is going to come over here. There's no people over there because a train has just come through and got all the people on it. Yeah, I think I'll be good, though. I think I'll be good. Little play here. Who's in the play? Jessica Lang. Oh, wow. Jessica Lang. Jim Parsons. That's cool. Oh, here's my train, you guys. Here's my train. Here's my train. Alwyn. There's my train. Gee, I hate the G with a passion. I, but I'm, I feel like it's all going to be good, though. It's all going to work out good. All right, you guys, I, I may see you later tonight. Definitely, definitely tomorrow, if not later tonight. All right, thank you. Bye. The next stop is Washington.